What's going on everyone, Healy here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a gameplay with a couple of the brand new legends in MLB The Show. Roberto Clemente, Hank Aaron. Both guys have a big spot in MLB history, and there are some, there's a crazy stadium I wanna play at, so that's what we're gonna to do today. In this gameplay, get a PS5 gameplay up for you as well. So the way team, uh, for the home team, we are just going to have it set the Cubs because that's my favorite team. We will change it in a minute. Uh, we're going to go to the NL West. We are going to go to... We'll go to the Long Ball Beasts. Actually, let's just go to the uh, National League. We'll go to the National League. And we are going to play as the Mid-Century Groundbreakers. This is going to include Hank Aaron. This is also going to include Roberto Clemente. So we're going to go over to the created stadiums. There's a cool one I want to play at. It is just called Cornfield. Pretty much Field of Dreams, right? Pretty much the Field of Dreams field. A little twist. We are just going to play here. We are going to play a quick five inning game. Extra inning runner on. Uh, five innings. We're just going to throw it off. Whatever. They got Trevor Bauer. For the NL starting, we are going to go with Bob Gibson. Starting off, you got Hank Aaron in there. Got to throw Roberto Clemente in there as well. We are going to throw him in. We're going to throw him in left field. Sure. Clemente, he could play center. He could play right. Uh, our center fielder is Mickey Mantle. That's fine. We're going to back Clemente up top as well. Yo, Tori, we got Jimmy Fox. We got a big bench right here that we can use. That That's okay. So we got Clemente and Aaron up top. Let's just hop right into it. Going to be facing Trevor Bauer. The load times are pretty quick on this game. So we are going to start up pretty quickly. Afternoon uh, baseball here problem with playing zone. at the stadium, a not a lot of fans. Sure. So there isn't a lot of fan sure sounds. Starts. Definitely a weird feeling, especially because I normally like hearing the fans. We're going to be using pinpoint pitching. I'm just okay at it. I do have a tips video on my channel if you want to go watch it. Uh, we're going to throw the slider here. Boom. Decent pitch. I am going to put on, so for, against the CPU, make this a little more sim style. We're going to turn the API on. Basically, this tells me where the catcher wants the pitch. And I'm just going to throw it there. Boom. Almost had that perfect. I think you have to be 80% or higher. So pretty close on that. We got 84. And we're too early on it. Maybe you have to be 90 or above. That could be a change up. Pretty poor. That's okay. We get Mookie Bats to strike out anyways. For a second, I thought I was playing the Dodgers. I don't know why. Bats, you have Trevor Bauer on there. But we are playing the National League. Fernando Tatis. It would have been sick if there, last year there was an All-Star game. That would have been super sick. So we are going to go right here. Going to go away. Just missed our spot. Let's go slider here. And that's okay. Hey, it looks like this guy's gonna work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the 68%. Come on, I'm early. I'm I'm getting a little wild here with Bob Gibson. 58%. Yeah. All right, three and two though. We worked it back pretty well. Now we got to go change up. 95%. Oh, we're just early, just a tad longer than we should have been. We got a fastball against Freddie Freeman. We're a little too fast there. Murley, I, I'm so early. I'm still trying to get the timing down. I don't like being late, so I'm overcompensating. Got that in a good spot for not a great pitch. Uh, and then we got the curveball here. 
61 percent that ball, ball is crushed freddie freeman with the solo shot <laughs> almost any fly ball towards the track it should be gone there's gonna be nothing hit off the wall 62 percent thought that was a little better than that maybe i was off on it it's okay though 67 got a little fast there at the end good location sorry about that sorry about that uh yeah i meant to change the camera immediately and i didn't i just didn't so we are down one if you are still watching the video at this point thank you thank you for watching the video <laughs> But we are down one run. We get a hit now. Trevor Bauer, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What do we need to know here, Danny? This will be interesting. This guy won the NL Cy Young Award last year. He's a solid pitcher, Matt. One of the things he does, he throws the ball into the strike zone. Trevor Bauer, Roberto Clemente. We're going to change our settings right here. We are going to go to Zoom. We're going to play on Zoom so you guys can see the stance right here. We'll apply it. There you go. This is what his stance is going to look like in the game. Okay. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Okay. Perfectly fine. 1-1. One, one. Need to make sure we hit the fastballs. That pitch should have been hit. The cutter. I forgot how slow Trevor Bauer's cutter is. That's okay. So two and two count to Roberto Clemente. Outside. We're working a decent account. A decent count. Three and two. We can get a walk. We can get a walk. That would have swung at that pitch. Oh, man, that pitch was right down the middle. It's okay. We'll get another one here. Maybe we get a heater. Damn, that pitch was away. We push it up the middle, and we actually get a base hit. That's pretty cool. Hank Aaron. Get to see how his stance is. I just hope it's not long. A lot of these older guys, they have a pretty long stance. And it just messes up, and they end up not being a good player of it. MLB The Show relies a lot on a player's stance. So, mainly it's the attributes, and then, like, probably about a third of it is the stance. You could have the best attributes in the game, but if you have one of the worst stances, you are not going to get used at all. That's just how it is. Doing one, though. So, we get a fastball here. Man, I thought he was for sure going to throw it inside or just throw a fastball. He's pitching Hank Aaron away. I'd do so myself. Hank Aaron's one of the best hitters in MLB history. Hank Aaron gets on base. Pitch was a little low. Maybe we could have golf clubbed it out. But a hit is a hit. Now we have Willie Mays Hayes coming up. This team is in prime position to jump out to an early lead and be the aggressor today. Willie. His stance has been okay in previous games. Collection reward a couple years ago. Used him a lot. I haven't really had a problem with this stance. 2 and 0. We still have zero outs here in the first. Trevor Bowers thrown 15 pitches and we're only three batters in. It's a little early. This will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Two and one. <sighs> He's set and the two one pitch. Here's Willie Mays! Perfect, man. perfect to dead center. Way Throws that cutter high in the zone. We take advantage. Perfect on it. It's crushed for a no doubter. So that home run in the first by Freddie Freeman doesn't really matter. We're up three to one. Is this a new replay system? Yo! That is sick. That's so cool. 
109, 464 feet. <laughs> wow. Now we got Mickey Mantle up. Used him a lot in last year's game. Fresh into the game last year. All right, throwing a lot of balls. Five inning game. This NL team is going to have to try and like make a decision quick if they want to keep Bauer in. They have a lot of good pitchers they could toss in there as well. That was a terrible swing, but that's what happens when I'm trying to talk and hit at the same time. Man. And this in this uh camera I am struggling to read the low pitches. I'm reading the low pitches as ending up in the zone. It's worked out for me so far. That time, not so much. Lou Gehrig, though, he's always solid in the game. That ball's hit deep, is it? No. All right, so we missed that. That's going to be a second out of the inning. This is a very long inning. 23 pitches so far. Next, it's been 11 minutes. Normally, it takes only like a couple. <laughs> Ernie Banks, the no doubter. He gets a slider and crushes it. 404 feet. And Dave Roberts not too happy. Let's see if they show the replay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We'll see if he can regroup right here. It's not easy to sometimes come back. From 109 off the bat, 403 feet. That ball was smoked. Now we have Jackie up. Jackie Robinson day. Jackie! That ball is crushed. Yo! Five runs on Trevor Bauer. Another ball that just gets destroyed here. This might be a park you see a lot of people play at. There isn't a lot of fans. The fences seem pretty short. Distance-wise and also just height-wise. I got Johnny Bench. We're using a DH. So one through nine, all great hitters. We do have, like, Babe Ruth on the bench if I wanted to pitch with him as well and hit. Eddie Matthews, shout out to Kevin G.O.D. If you know, you know. Five to one, though. Are they warming anyone up? This game's getting out of hand pretty quickly. He's at 30 pitches. Just missed that. That ball should have been hit to the moon, just like the other couple or other three. On, but it's wide of first and foul. Two strikes. Two strikes. Here's the pitch. Inside. That's okay. There we go. There we go. So far by this offense, they're not chasing any of those. Thirty pitches for Bauer. Another pitch, pretty much down the middle that we missed with Eddie Matthews. That's two. Missing one's okay. Missing two. That is bad. Outside, we'll take it. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Okay. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Eddie, three, two pitch. Should have been stealing on that. That's okay though. We got a base hit. The inning continues. Doesn't look like anyone's warming up for the National League All Stars. We're back to the top of the order. Roberto Clemente. You got to hit his last time up. That one's going to be on the ground. Tatis over to second, and that is the inning. We got to face Ozuna, Soto, and JT Real Muto. Oh, my. Now to the plate, Marcelo Zuna, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second Marcelo inning. Ozuna. Bob Gibson, 
We're up 5-1. Uh, let's go to the bullpen. So we got guys like Lefty Grow, Phil Necro we could toss in. I want to see how the knuckleball works, so we are going to warm him up. Not a lot of relievers. There's so many starters here. You got Hal Newhauser. Hmm. We're just gonna we're just gonna leave Bob Gibson in probably for a bit. Eighty four percent. We missed. We missed with that. That's okay. One hundred percent. I missed it. I already released. It. I got a one hundred percent accuracy and I missed. That's all right. Too fast. There we go. Hot shot to third and handled for Thank you, Eddie. Eddie Matthews, nice play over there at third base. A lot of fastballs. 84%. A lot of it's coming from when I first start out moving the, the, the right stick down. I'm moving it to the left immediately. Can't really be having that. 65%. We missed, but we got a swing. That's okay. That is cool. I'm terrible. Look at that. That that drawing, very bad. Man, this is not good. Okay, that one that one was still pretty dotted. Forty-seven percent. Low. That was a great pitch. Good take by JT. We're going to go with the slider here. A little too fast there at the end. We get the strikeout regardless. That was a great dot regardless of my drawing for the pinpoint. Hank Aaron. Okay, he's one for one. We'll take that. We'll take that. Unable to find the zone with the slider. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat, starting right. Hank, now. that ball's foul. foul. That ball's foul. Uh, you could tell he caught every last stitch of that baseball. To be able to drive it out to the opposite field, he had to hit it right. There we go. Mouth, but it just there we go. Foul. He was a smidge late. And he takes ball okay, we'll walk with Hank Aaron this time. Now we have the big guy, Willie Mays. Big home run to center field his last time up. That was a pitch we should have hit. This is a tough guy to turn two on. It's got to be hit hard. If you're an infielder, you've got to catch it and get rid of it quickly. Yeah, pick me off. Pick me off, definitely. Totally going to steal. Totally going to. Outside. It's okay. One strike. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base, almost like a hybrid pitch out. <laughs> Imagine Willie going two for two with two bombs. That's a catching right. Okay. Okay. That was a great catch by Mookie Betts in right field. 19.17 miles per hour. Great efficiency, 108 feet. Kind of got covered by my face cam. I'm sorry about that. Yo! Get out. There's only one out. Go back. Go back. Soto is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Up next, Lou Gehrig. He got out last time. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed. I've gotten a couple pitches I should have been on, but I've been a little late a couple times here. Try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Little slide step action there, Dan. Lou! Lou with the no doubter. Tried going fastball high and in, and we end up crushing it. Trevor Bauer is getting lit up here by the legends. 
right center as it's now a six run ball game. Let's see, let's see the, the stats here. That was the fourth blast of the game so far for this lineup. Then 99.9, 412 feet. That ball is smoked. They're bringing in Max Freed. Okay. Fourth round tripper of the game so far. They're missing over the heart of the plate, not using the quadrants. In the hitters meeting, oh, we're late on it. Mookie going to get that? Yeah. Too good of a fielder. Seven to one. Now in the box, Donovan Solano and Dero down six already in the ninety percent. What's the mentality? Perfect. Oh, and it's a ball. We missed. It's okay. I've been down six before. 81. Back from even further down than that. Hey, we get a strike. That's what matters right there. To just relax. I want another fastball. 87%. Oh, we missed. It's 85 and above what it looks like. To get the perfect. 94. Perfect. It ends up in the in the zone that we just had for that. They want us to throw another fastball. We're going to throw a sinker here. 65%. Woo -hoo -hoo! Strike out. Sinker inside. A good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball. 97%. Perfect. Oh, come on. Ronald Acuna comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 and 0. 47. Here's a huge Oh, that ball is crushed. Was it Ozuna? And I mean by plenty. That ball was Who was that? That was Acuna. My bad. A, a brave, though. Both two Braves so far have hit home runs. Let's see how far Acuna's was. 103.7. He's killing it in real life, too. This kid is special. 90%. Perfect. 87%. Oh, missed. Is that a strike, though? Yes. Mookie Betts went through on it. Now we're going to go change up. I get a little too fast there at the end. Stay foul. Stay foul. Go foul. Go foul. Thank you. Nothing more than a long foul ball, and it'll hold the count at 0 2. 87. You can tell he wants that pitch. Oh, we just missed the perfect, but it doesn't matter. Just got a hair early on and mowing them down. We got a trophy. I don't know exactly what that does. We are not going to look at it now. 97%. Look at that. And we, we missed it because we were off on the final circle. I just get too fast there at the end. High fire right on by. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments. 80%? Yo, we got a we got a perfect on that. So I guess you don't need 85 and above. We got a perfect on that pitch. Awesome. Lou Gehrig. Doing it with the bat, doing it with the glove. What more do you need from him? Jackie, he hit a home run his last time up. Jackie Robinson. Second baseman. Fastball hit on the ground is short. Reined in. It's okay. There's one down now. Outside, rolled over on it. Perfectly fine. The catcher number five. So next Johnny. to bat will be Johnny Bench. Singled in his last at bat. Ball one. one. Swing Whoa, Johnny Bench. Perfect, perfect. Low in the zone. He hits a home run to right center. I'm hoping the swing's a lot better in this year's game. It's It's been bad the past few years. As one of the best catchers in baseball, you just can't have that. You got to make him playable. Let's see how far this ball was hit. Five home runs in one game. You could just see it as the game was going on. Those hitters, they couldn't wait. 441 feet. Wow. That ball was smoked. Lefty, lefty now. 
get on the ground down the ball's on the ground line. it's okay and he'll step on first for the out three unassisted the bat next to stand the in is fielder. Roberto Clemente he singled in Roberto and he swings <sighs> against a lefty we we need to do some damage that was terrible I think it's about time terrible approach right there get that foot down he's awfully that ball's <sighs> And that's into the okay. Foul ball it's okay. Right. We we're good on that crushed home run, but instead we're late on it. Ball snuck into the zone as well, and we strike out. I'm making I'm making Roberto look bad. Johnny Bench. I'm liking these transitions in between innings, even when it's at a stadium like this. We'll go sinker right here. 72%. They want us to throw the sinker again. 100% on that. Oh, and we missed it with the timing. Everything else was perfect. Oh, man, that, that one, not so great. It's okay, though. A little too slow. Still inside, still in the location I wanted to go with. 90%. Perfect. And we get the strikeout. Here you go, Freddie. Sit down, buddy. 69%. Yeah, it's because I messed up the first part. 90%. Perfect. Yes. I'm getting better with this. Definitely am. It, it takes just a little getting used to, especially getting the timing down with this. But once you get the formation down of what you do for every pitch, it becomes way better. 97. There you go. Perfect. We get the strikeout. Okay. Certainly not showing any signs of intimidation with these. We're gonna start off with the slider here. Was I? Yeah, I was too fast there at the end. <sighs> There's Ozuna. Is he going to run on Aaron? He is. Throw him out. Get him out. Ugh. Thought Hank Aaron was going to gun him. Now Juan Soto's up with two outs. I have someone on base now that I have to work with. Okay. We missed. 2-0. Oh. We're getting a little wild here. Perfectly fine. Let's just get out of this inning. Six run lead. Three and zero. Oh. That's fine. We're, we're fine. They want us to throw a slider right down the middle. Whatever. It'll be interesting if he comes in the zone aggressively again. Eighty-four accuracy on that. Okay. They just want us to throw the fastball again. That should have been a walk. Should have been the walk. It's all right though. That swing right there is the reason. Oh, that's not a great pitch. 3 2. Want the fans to be safe. So it's first and second with two men gone. And instead, that ball is on the ground. We're going to throw this over to one. Great play from Ernie Banks. Could be our last chance to hit right here. Hank Aaron, he's one for one with a walk. And next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron, perfect, perfect to center field. Yeah, you aren't catching that one. Mm -mm. We see a home run from Hank. I don't think that was a no-doubter. That ball was crushed. It was hit pretty far. Perfect, perfect sound is wonderful. 432, 101.9 off the bat. Curious to get your take on this. I didn't Lee May is he has a home run this game. But a lot of guys say they see the ball better during the day. You know what's funny, D Row, is is I preferred to pitch in night games as opposed to day games. I always thought it was advantage to the hitter, and so far that looks like it's the case in this one right here. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Absolutely smoking the baseball right now. <laughs> oh, Willie Mays with his second home run of the game. Was that a no doubter as well? Uh, his first one? I can't. I I can't remember. It happened 
less than 20 minutes ago, but I'm pretty sure this is another no-doubter for Willie Mays. A little outside, we push it to center field, and that ball is crushed. 453 feet, 105.4 off the bat. This morning for this day game here, we were expecting a high scoring game, but boy, we haven't been disappointed. Yeah, you take the temperature of a lot of guys in the league, they definitely that ball's gonna get caught. Okay, just got a little underneath. That is fine. Ball was jumping off the bats of both lineups. The batter digging in next, Lou Gehrig. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier, and that home run he hit his last darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. He absolutely destroyed a fastball. A little hesitation right there by the batter. It was great execution. You missed. That's okay. Play. Two outs now. Late swing. Could have been sitting on something else. Soto is in his tracks now as he makes the catch. For Ernie Earth. Banks. He has a home run. Got it in his Ernie first Banks. AB of the game. For two with that home run he hit earlier. <laughs> Ernie with the second home run. I need to know what the elevation of this ballpark is because I am just crushing the baseball here. 478 feet. I don't think anything's beat that so far. Henley Jansen's now in the game. Ball was, man. The elevation has to be high, you'd think. I just, I don't get it with how these balls are flying here. I am perfect, perfect hitting these, but still. Close. Now the one and one pitch. Line shot to second, but it's caught and the side is retired. So they get three runs here. There we go. Coming via solo home. All right. Leading off for the National League. We're gonna go Phil Necro here. Got to throw the knuckleball. Phil Necro, a six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call. We're, gonna, we're just going to throw it. The knuckleball. So you got to go to the left. You got to go to the right. You got to go up top. And this one. Oh, look at that movement. All right. So let's try this again. 68%. This is so dirty. Please do not be in Diamond Dynasty again this year. Is this is absolutely disgusting. Maybe two percent. That ball's hit. So okay. Nine run lead here in the fifth. It's just it'll be good. No worries. The center fielder, number thirteen, Ronald. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. Oh, this is tough. This is a little tough. I'm so used to going up, down and then up. So mentally having to go left and then right again to go back down, it is a little tough. What do they want? They want the knuckleball. The ball. Ooh. It's okay. They want a knuckleball yet again. Close. It's okay. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. Solano gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Man. To even the count two and two. He Close. There once he got him to zero and two, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge. Uh, one of these pitches are just they're they're just gonna get crushed. The two two one more. That's just what's gonna happen. He keeps being laid on it. One of these times though, they're just gonna get absolutely destroyed. Ball. Dances just inside that time. You can certainly tell at bats like we strike out Acuna <laughs> on a fastball. And execute your plan. So we ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Man, that's fine. It's fine. Mookie Betts stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. <laughs> Did you see that movement? Oh my gosh. Insane. Lou Gehrig's going to get back to this one. This is a pretty easy one to catch. Two outs now. One, one out away 
from winning this ball game. And it's a cover boy, Fernando Tatis. Oh, absolutely disgusting, Phil. Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace. One of the few greats that were able to do this in MLB history. Such a silly pitch, but man, it 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 worked a lot. It's okay. I want to get a perfect pitch with the knuckleball. I just do. I don't know if I will be able to though. It's close. I'm getting, I'm getting there. They want us to throw another knuckleball here. 49. My accuracy just isn't working. 94 speed. And we have him out. So that's going to do it for this ball game. We went 11 to 2. Willie Mays, player of the game. Okay, okay. So that's going to do it for this video. Appreciate you guys for watching it. Got to play at the Field of Dreams. Pretty much the Field of Dreams. Willie Mays. Got to see Hank Aaron. Brittle Clemente. If you did enjoy, make sure you click that thumbs up. Best way to show support. Hit the subscription button if you're new and enjoy the content. There's going to be two videos on the screen right now. One of them, my most recent video. The other one, a random one. Check them out if you haven't already. Sealy, and I'm out. Peace.